Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Have you realized that ever since Azimio stopped the street demonstrations, those who criticized the running battles on the streets, those who did not believe in demonstrations, those who called themselves the shareholders, are finding it even more easier to go to the streets when they feel they are aggrieved. You've seen in Central when their houses are being demolished ostensibly to construct their affordable houses that Ruto holds very closely at his heart. They've always gone to the street to protest. In Rip Valley, in Western Gishu the other day, they protested very vehemently about the same same demolitions of, 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 of uh, houses. Anytime they feel aggrieved, they will always, always go to the street to protest. And I'm wondering why exactly? It seems Raila gave, uh, gave them an impetus and uh, a belief and a strong conviction that when things are not right, then you need to go and air your grievances. I want you to watch this video and before you hear people talking, you will think that this is Kisumu or Homa Bay or let me just put it, you may think that this is an Azimio stronghold or Azimio supporters protesting against the government. But you'll be shocked as to who exactly are engaging the police in the running battles. Can you take a look so that we talk about this together? Uh, as a mama on behalf of people who are working under county government who have not been paid 11 months salary, the ma uh, water which have been out of uh, service for three months, we want service in Bomet County. We don't want government which only protect uh, his right. To go up and go fight. Now to the mama and I am. I don't be a governor to the Kuja Kwako to the Kutua office. Ah, my friend. Barjo, to the Patana. He told Nazima to find a mandaman every Wednesday, back at Lippe Maj, back at Lippe Walkers, back at the Genese in Barabara town. How we get I put down a morning Barabara. I'm not going to be at Yagas. We'll go in Manero in the town. Since I have a poor man to go to Shita Mingi Sana, I know what to apport. To Nalupa Ushuru Killa Siku. I love what to not to me as carry. I talk to say more quelieto, see to Naomi Kitchin, what on a cooler pesa porta, what on a cooler pesa revenue, I love your pesa with Peleki, Mali in a style of Pelequa. I love side to Gitama Kurubot, Le Machia took on Nava for me, one to me as carry. Quani, Quani, this is even a tam to Lijakua Mutua to find your cast. You will agree with me that if the victims had not talked, the hustlers, how to a border border, those border border riders, or that guy who was apprehended and bundled in that police vehicle, if they hadn't talked and explained exact, exactly where the, the, the running battles is taking place, you would have known where this is happening. So this is Bomet County. Bomet County is one of the strongholds of Ruto. And you'd not imagine that at one point, people would uh, engage police in running battles in Ruto strongholds. So what do you make out of this? Number one, these are people who have been told that they are shareholders. And you see many times they have been explained to that they should not 
confront the government because the government is theirs. That when you go to the streets and you protest, then Unanika William Ruto, that you, you are exposing him and the presidency is yours. You see, this is what they have been told. Rigeti Gashuga says they are shareholders. But you see, there comes a time when you realize that you are the citizens and you are taxpayers. So that when someone is telling you that you own this government, yet you are suffering, then you go out there. So these people are shareholders, but they are not seeing value for it. And so they have decided they are going to the streets to express their lamentation. If you are still there thinking that you are shareholders, uh, that you are shareholders and you go hungry, you, you don't get value for the taxes that you pay, then who unto you? These people are ready. We are also realizing that when citizens are tired, they will always go out there. They have decided they are not going to wait. You see, one funny thing is that some of these people never believed that sometimes you can go to the street. And I remember there was a war in, in the social media. Some people were even celebrating when Azimio supporters were being butchered and maimed on the streets. But now they are realizing that the cause for which people go to the street is almost the same when people are dissatisfied. So they will always go there. You see, that guy is saying that they will always protest on every Wednesday. And you'd think that that is an Azimio member of parliament or an Azimio leader. That is a UDA supporter, someone who woke up very early in the morning and voted William Sumeruto. What's more is the fact that he is saying that Maja Hijalipwa, the services, the roads are bad, the employees have not been paid, and it boils down to what is now happening. You see, this is happening at a time when counties are crying for that they don't have enough money. You know, the counties are supposed to, to collect their own revenue, generate their own revenue, and then there's another part that comes from the national government. But did you know that even as we speak, the Council of Governors, led by their leader, Madam Anwai Guru, has already declared, the Council of Governors has already, that body has already declared that there is a stalemate on revenue sharing. The, 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 there are two bodies, they the are representative from the Council of Governors, from the Kenya Revenue Allocation, and the national government. The, the governors want to be given about 450 billion Kenya shillings, but the other two are saying we can only give 391, the other one 398. And Waiguru was saying very categorically that the reason why they want this money to be added to the counties is one, the Ruto government has increased fuel prices, the taxes are high, and they are saying that the housing levy would now mean that when you pay it 1.15%, then your employer will also pay the same. So I, Waiguru representing the governors are saying that now there is an additional money that they have to pay on behalf of the employees. And they are saying that with this, then it means they have to be given more money. So look at it this way. These are policies that are implemented in the Ruto regime. Ruto is the one who is uh, increasing and introducing housing levy. In fact, to an extent that the courts have ruled against it, but he's saying he will hear none of it. And he understands very well that courtesy of the housing levy and the taxes, the county as an employer will have to pay 1.15% because, because that is the law. But he does not want to add them more money that can cover the housing levy. And they are crying for that there will be delayed, you know, service delivery. And this is exactly what is happening. So whether you are a shareholder or not, when a government implements some retrogressive policies, it will affect you. Because now look at it. They have not been paid you can imagine, now schools have just opened. Teachers want school fee, yet they have not been paid. What do they do? They are forced to run to the street. And William Ruto must resolve this revenue allocation. Because it is the one that is ailing 
the counties. That border border rider is saying that taxes are being collected, I think parking fee and all that, but they don't see value for it. And is alleging that someone is misusing this money. And it takes me to the last point, corruption both in the national and the county government. It's real. And if people don't stand up for it, then our hard earned tax will go down the drains. They, they, they collect a lot of revenue, yet employees have not been paid, roads are bad, they have not paid uh, even the, the, the water company that is supplying Bomet. So what would that mean? That the people who are doing business within Bomet cannot even go to the toilets because if the, the money is not, has not been the water has, has not been paid, then it means that the water company will cut the supply of water. The roads are bad. And they are wondering, these people, very early in the morning, the whole day, we collect, the, we, we give them taxes. But then there is no value for it. And this is Bomet, ladies and gentlemen. This is not Kisumu. It is not in Machakos, where you would say that this is Kalonzo Stronghold. And it is not in Mombasa. Things are getting thicker. And if William Ruto is not very careful, is not going to handle this because there is an appetite people are ready to go to the streets because they know it is entrenched in in our constitution and that is the only language that governments understand and that guy is saying there we will never be tired we would better be tear gassed but we will be there i don't know what you think is your county better than bomet are you getting services for your hard-earned tax? That is my take.